today we are kind of cleaning up the front fence line more of the brambles and some fallen wood that was kind of there before the tree service came it looks like at one point this fence line had been burnt most likely on purpose there's a lot of charred wood that is now pretty spongy so we're picking that up and getting as much of the brambles out as possible which that's not all that easy so that Lance can run through here with a weed whacker with a blade on it trim it down a little bit more I'll be able to mow probably this front ditch along here and then I'll go out and mow out along the highway as well while he's working on that so this is our second truckload we started way down on the other end down there and so you can see it's a lot clearer here than it was all along and through there So I think we're about ready to go dump this load and then come back and do a third one. So we'll take you with us. So you might remember the pile from when we trimmed the palm trees. This is where I was bringing all the palm fronds. while you take one of the fakes to see.
really good there. We'll get the bed all dirty again anyway, so I need to push all this stuff out. All the dirt. But we can probably do one more load and then we'll start raking up there, get all that going, and I need to use a uh, metal blade for the hedge trimmer. Try and uh, get rid of many of these vines and all that kind of stuff that are still alive up there as possible. Definitely got to clear it out so when the guys go ahead and uh, start doing our fence for us, they'll have a little bit easier time of doing it so we get stuck all the time. Still can't make up his mind. Well, he's wild. Yes. It's like he really, he's really, really interested, and even when I'm moving slowly, he I'll just freak trust out you. all of a sudden. I'm not very trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the hat. The hat? They don't like the hat. Uh, might be the California raven feathers. Uh, I don't think so. Or another hatch too. Uh, Ooh, that feels good. Yes. Very good. Alright, here we go. All the way back up to the front. All the way, yeah. Ooh. So we've been working out here pretty much all day. It's almost dark. It's well after 8.30 because our outside lights came on right over there. Um, Lance has worked very hard today on the front fence line. I helped him remove some sticks and stuff, but pretty much he's been doing it. I mowed, which you've probably already seen in my video. And then he used a like a four-sided attachment for the uh, weed whacker, for lack of a better word. Chopped down everything again as close as he could. There's still some stumps and stuff in there. Um, but now he's raking, so we'll go over that way and see how it looks. I 
he's running away. Why are you running away? What? I said, why are you running away? <laughs> I was like, I'm, let's go talk to Lance and see what it's looking like. And you turned around and ran away. Oh. <laughs> I know you couldn't hear me. Yeah, I couldn't see you there, but... Done so, for the night? Done for the night. We got up to that tree right there. One the bent one. Little. It's uh, yeah. curved. Got that far, pulling all of the uh, vines that I cut. They're laying across the ground. Pulled all those, put them in the ditch, because that's kind of like the best spot I have for right now. <laughs> And it looks a lot better, and then we just got to work on the stumps, and we'll finish up the rest of it another day. Another day. Another day. Right now, I gotta go take all that stuff to the back and get rid of it. Yeah, take the rake with you, it'll be easier, I think. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So, yeah, it's really hard to see. It's so dark out here already. We are losing light fast. It's way darker than it appears on film. There, that's better. So, all of this he's raked down into this ditch here. So it's looking a lot better than it did. We have all the trash out of there and now the vines are much shorter. It'll be a lot easier to put a fence up, that's for sure. As opposed to what this looks like over here where you just weed whacked it and hasn't raked it yet and then I mowed as close as I could up onto this side of this ditch some of it I was able like down there I was able to actually get up on top of it but here it's way too steep so there's still like just a little bit of stuff growing here that needs to be done with the weed whacker but it is looking a lot better our new fence is gonna go if you can see the fence post there, which is just barely on that side of the ditch, our fence, new fence is going to go back a little bit between where the fence post is and where the trees are. So it'll be set back a little bit. And then this we're hoping to fill in. We're hoping we're going to be able to fill that in because they're actually putting a concrete irrigation gate on our neighbor's property down there so that would mean then that he doesn't need this gate or this uh, ditch on our property in order to get water anyway i'm gonna sign off for now this is obviously gonna be finished on another day because we are today's almost over <laughs> so Thanks for watching. We really appreciate all, all of your views, your likes, your subscribes, and your comments. So if you like what you see here, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up button, give us a like. Uh, I go through comments probably once a week or so. I try to answer everything for everybody. And um, you can follow us on Instagram to get exclusive content there that we share during the week between our videos. So, with that, we'll end back down here and you can say goodnight to Gypsy Farm Kitty. Good night, Gypsy Farm Kitty. She sees something. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>